Up next, elementary students rock out with their parents. And high school students gear up in the kitchen. All this and more coming up right now on Frisco ISD TV. And welcome to another edition of Frisco ISD TV. I'm Reagan Robinson. And I'm Ashley Jackson. It's Elementary, my dear, takes us to Pierfoy Elementary School, where a community was united through live music, food, and games. Jason Patrick Gaffney takes us to the concert in the courtyard. Concert in the courtyard at Pierfoy Elementary School mixes food, games, family fun, and live music. Scotty, we are the The event serves the community, and a student favorite is that it goes beyond Purefoy. Playing with someone that I met from a different school and playing fun games with them. We played Jenga, we played some ring toss, and we just ran around sometimes. The band, Passing Was Yours, provided music with a special connection to the school. My wife is on the PTA and is very involved, so I mean, I, I, I'm occasionally a watchdog. I'm up here volunteering at, uh, at other events and, and just helping out everywhere I can. My favorite part of the night was just seeing the kids have fun, it's, you know, the, especially the songs they knew where they came up and were dancing in front of the stage and all that, and just seeing them really enjoy it. That's just that was that was the best part. And for the students. The band rocked the schoolhouse, proving parents are instrumental in students' lives. It's a lot of fun playing this gig. We did it last year, and we were asked back again this year, so I guess they liked us, and uh, you know, just really enjoying doing it. So it's been, it's been fun. I'm Jason Patrick Gaffney for Frisco ISD TV. What a fun event. Thanks, JP. Now, in the middle of it all, let's go to Cassidy Freeman as she tracks down students who share experiences on another level. The students at Nelson Middle School in Norris Elementary have a new special connection as they walk to understand a new meaning of leadership. I just decided to start this mentorship program because I'm very passionate about leaders showing their qualities and passing those on to other people and so I just thought it would be really neat with the thing that we have with Norris. We have a really easy access. What we've been doing is coming to the elementary school and taking some kids out and getting to know them and telling them how middle school is. While it's common to see high school students visit elementary campuses, this program creates a bond that is closer in age. It has impacted me because I got to know my mentee a lot, Myra. She's influenced me to be a better person. Well, I've learned about Aubrey is that she's very nice and she taught me about how middle school is not that hard and how it's kind of easy and how you get to do like fun stuff. We wrote a letter to veterans and we played some games like Jenga and we had a lot of fun. I learned how middle school is like and my mentor, he colors with me and he does fun stuff with me. I've learned like what my mentee is like and how elementary school is going for him and how I could help him through, the, through his adventure. Because both schools are so close in distance, Nelson Middle School teen leadership students actually walk over to Norris Elementary to see the activities they plan unfold. We're just getting to kind of get to know each other through the things that they're interested in, like playing sports and uh, drawing or doing art or just playing a game or whatever that looks like to their mentee. And then um, one Friday a month they do um, a just a get, get to know you activity. So um, they are coming up with those on their own. I give them some sometimes or they get with a group and they get to create different things. Hopefully these classes will prepare students for the future. I'm Cassie Freeman for Frisco ISC TV. I always love seeing the bond between different grade levels. Thanks Cassidy for that report. Now let's head over to Frisco High School as Aaron Davis shows the importance of inclusiveness and friendship.
Friendships are formed in a variety of ways, and no matter the mindset, the Frisco High School Best Buddies program brings students together for support. It is a program that pairs students with IDD, which is an intellectual or developmental disability, with students without a disability. And it gives them a buddy, a pal, some friend that they can do things with, essentially to have the normal high school experience. Being a buddy has its benefits. Seeing my buddy light up when she sees me, like I just walked into the classroom and she yells at me, Mackenzie, and just came and like gave me a big hug. Like that's honestly like the best feeling in the entire world. How does having a buddy make you feel? I feel, I feel you're happy. I happy. What I like about it so far is you, you got, you got your own, you got your own buddy will, that are willing to do do stuff with you. Classes like Partners PE and programs similar to Best Buddies exist throughout Frisco ISD. This Frisco High School club goes beyond the school day. Everything these kids do, they do with fun, and it makes everything just super exciting all the time. I've worked with special needs groups my whole life, and it's always been a huge part of my life, so I'm really glad that I joined into it this year. I am so passionate about this. That is one thing that I think is really important that sometimes other schools don't have, is really just that passion with me and with everyone else involved as well. Students have a chance to see a bigger picture and make others feel a part of the school. I think it gives you a good focus of what's going on outside of your own life. A lot of times we stay so focused with ourselves and it helps us realize what's going on in other people's lives and to make a difference. We are constantly working and building that culture of inclusion on our campus. So I think that's probably the main thing. It's just the level of commitment our students have to this club. It's nice to have a friend, and that's what Frisco High School's Best Buddies program hopes to accomplish. I'm Erin Davis for Frisco ISD TV. Everyone deserves to feel accepted, and I love that the Best Buddies program does that. Yes, it's so inspiring to see students put differences aside to bond. Thanks for that story, Erin. The CTE Center chefs are put to the test as they cook battle-ready dishes. Here's Mary-Kate Sunderman with more. CTE Center culinary arts students were challenged to spice things up and deliver a product tasty enough to get the attention of U.S. troops. They welcomed special guests who brought MREs to the kitchen. MRE is meal ready to eat. Um, it's in a package. It lasts for roughly a three-year period, and we utilize those when we don't have any kitchen assets available in a field environment. The National Guard Culinary Arts Challenge brings a military focus from the field to the table to help students with cooperative learning. It's an event that we present to a variety of schools across the North Texas area. And it's basically challenging the students to work together as a team, um, the communication skills that they have to, to see how well they do that. And uh, at the end, of course, we taste it and, and, and grade them accordingly. We do this challenge to get the students used to working in teams uh, and in green so they can uh, create new uh, and exotic menus. Students were given 45 minutes to create an entire meal. In our MRE, we were given a vegetarian pasta, and so we decided to make a manicotti kind of thing, and then it came with like this uh, piece of bread, so we hooked it up with some garlic and butter to make a Texas toast kind of thing. The meal also had to include a dessert and a drink, for which students got creative. It came with a fruit punch uh, powder, so we put that with ice and sugar and then sugared the rim of the cup to make it like a margarita. There was like an orange Gatorade, and so we did a spin-off of mimosa. According to Chef Burnett, Team Charlie marched away with the victory for their sausage glazed MRE and because their group had the best communication. The challenge provided students with life lessons. I hope to be able to adapt better to different problems I have in my career. I hope to gain from this challenge to learn how to make things that, you know, I might look at and be like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what to do. And then just kind of sit there and take a breath and be like, okay, if I add this and add that, and maybe just kind of accommodate to what I have around me. Chef Burnett hopes students see a bigger meaning behind these small packages they were given. This definitely benefits uh, the students. Um, hopefully it also gives an awareness of what troops have to sacrifice in their normal meals when they're out in the field that the students can see actually what soldiers have to eat. I'm Mary-Kate Sunderman for Frisco ISD TV. They sure did get a different flavor of the profession. Anything to make food taste better is a good thing. Thanks, Mary-Kate.
Frisco ISD parents were given tips on raising teenagers. Lauren Goodman has the story. Frisco ISD provides parents with opportunities to learn a lesson or two in understanding their kids and the stress of aiming for success. This session of the district's parenting series featured Dr. Madeline Levine, who spoke to parents about her book, The Price of Privilege, and how expectations of excellence can be a burden for teens. I always used to think that the problems in Texas were going to look very different from the problems in New York, from the problems in California, but they really don't. Um, there's a notion of a very narrow version of success that parents have brought into, but now kids themselves have bought into. Dr. Levine set the record straight about the prospects of perfection not being all it's cracked up to be. What percentage of people actually took this straight, you know, step by step, great grades, right school, and the number is always one to 10%, no matter where I am in the world. That means that 90 to 99% of People stopped and started, had a career, didn't do so well, had another career. And I think that we need to recognize that there's value in not knowing exactly what you want to do. Some parents took Levine's advice to heart. It was definitely applicable. I mean, really, a lot of us, one of the selling points to move to Frisco is because it has so many exemplary schools. So we naturally push our kids, you know, and gosh, it hit home. I loved the understanding of the playtime and the downtime and the family time that she talked about and that that's something that every family could do and that that's something that our family can continue to engage in as well. The most important thing you can do as a parent is to know your own child. Uh, not, not to know the grades, not to know um, the metrics of your child, but to know the heart of your child, the soul of your child. And that's in process, it's changing. The Frisco ISD Parenting Series provides sessions to help educate parents and strengthen family ties, all in its ongoing mission to know every student by name and need. There is no substitute for valuing your particular child. I'm Lauren Goodman for Frisco ISD TV. What a great opportunity for Frisco ISD parents. I'm sure many families benefited from it. Thanks, Lauren. That's all we have for this episode. Join us next time where we check out a classroom that's more like home. And kids get a taste of the political process. I'm Ashley Jackson. And I'm Reagan Robinson. Thanks for being with us. <laughs>